The Extra Life event went live today and with that Wildcard released the new Kakarodontosaurus and apparently it's supposed to be a counter against the Giganotosaurus or at least an alternative tame. Anyways, right as the update launched, we started looking around for the new dino and just two minutes after the service came back up, I've already found one. If you're looking forward to tame one, they do share their spawns with the giga spawns, so just look around the giga spawns and you'll surely find one. Taming them is actually quite easy, but if you're unlucky like me, it might take you a while. Does it eat me? Okay, it doesn't eat meat. So basically all you gotta do is kill something near the Kakarodontosaurus, drag the body up to it and it should eat it. You gotta do it a couple of times until the little circle above it turns green. But sometimes it's still a little bit weird and bugs so it just starts running off and doesn't eat. <laughs> it sniffed it but it doesn't want it. Look, now it's going away from me. Look at this fucking bitch. Bro, it's just running from me. Stop running away. <laughs> In case that happens to you, either keep trying until it works or kill it and wait for a new one to spawn. So, around one hour after the update launched, my tribe mate Swifty found a level 130 male on Ragnarok. So, if you want to see how he tamed that, you can go ahead and check out his video on his channel. The link is down in the comment section. So, since we had a male now, we needed to look for a female. And the best place to find one is actually outside of the snow north on center, so I went over to a center server to tame one and look for a female. And the first server I checked had a level 150 female and it looked like there was someone else trying to tame it as well, but he probably died. So I killed this guy's mana and then started taming the Kakarodonto by myself. No way on palm of points on 165, bro. This server goes down every five minutes. It's because fucking once, because the cube's still I got popped. a female 150. Oh, well, you found one? Mm -hmm. Sheesh. It's gonna eat that Giga Bunny and then come. Oh my god, no way! You get cut when. <laughs> Oh no no no! That's <laughs> 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 yeah. Right, one six five has just gone down. The server mm. doesn't exist anymore. I fucking log over there for two minutes. And it's just dead. You played that play pretty well, to be fair. Like. The t all the towers got merged to a different tribe, you know. So. You could do it. No. <laughs> Careful with your mana HP, my friend. But you need to be dragging it before it's even close to you. There we. Go. Oh, never mind. You should like walk over to you whilst you have it in your hand or some bullshit. Like it can't be chasing you or anything. Is it like doesn't? Was it gonna bite animation? And by the time it gets you, there we go. <laughs> no way! <laughs> no way! No, he just comes in and snipes your ass, mate. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Did so, it reset yeah, the taming so... effectiveness? I think I no... thought it hit the no, thing. No, that's not even taming effectiveness, though. It just he keeps eating the ankies. <laughs> the RG keeps eating the ankies. There's an other. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? You fully just led it to another spawn, bro. <laughs> Is that the Kurt Shaw? Sure? It's him fucking shitting on stoop. It's almost done, it's almost done. It's salty, yeah. It's salty yeah, gang shit. Yeah, there as well, yeah. Cause uh -huh. his gig is the one that's fucking funny. I saw that, bro. I was like... Fucking thing keeps going down, that's fine. 
Yeah, it's because after time it's going down. Oh, my team. There you go. So once you've fed it enough, it's still not tamed. It will give you the option to ride it now. And from there on, you'll have 600 seconds to kill as much stuff as possible. Make sure though that you're not getting hit by anything, cause that would fuck up your taming effectiveness. So now that we have two of them tamed, it's time to look at what abilities they have and if they're actually good. So Holy, it actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, a little bit. Destroys the whole crafting area because it's like a mech, it does damage to own structures. You bet what? Do you not get dismounted? Wait, you're still riding even though the, it doesn't have a set. What? Bro, stand still, stand still. <laughs> That's actually thick. What do I level in melee? Yeah, let's do. What does it sound like? Kind of like a weird UD. Yeah. Stats looks like a giga, yeah. It's definitely like faster than a Giga. Yeah. Well, you just upload it there and then send me the link. Another good thing about it is, it is, um, is its stamina. You know how Gigas run out of stamina so fast and you can't chase anything? With this, you'll actually be able to chase shit. I mean, it doesn't have much, much stamina, but it has like way more than a Giga. That's pretty cool. What effects does it have? That's a one hit kill. What is this? Killing frenzy. Increased speed and immunity to stunts. Immunity to stunts. Duh. Boosted HP, regen, and melee damage. That's when it's raging. And when I kill something, it's got the killing frenzy. Immunity to stuns. Does that mean it can't get stunned by shadow mains? Actually, it is pretty cool. Far is the knockback. There's blood coming out of its mouth. No. 
No. Right click, open link. Yeah, yeah. What does this do? What? That just gave me 10 levels? Hey, what does this do? So when I get the when I kill something and get the effect, yeah, then on the bottom left to my to my hotbar, there's like. But here, look. Um, when I kill something, it li lights up and like there's numbers. I think the more I kill. Yeah, this two three. And when I now press C and scream, I've got one level up. Like I, d I get a level up. Or is it just like a kill count? <laughs> Bro, with like the with a kill effect, it's actually so much faster. Alright boys, I think we've seen enough. Obviously, you can't really tell if it's going to be good for PvP, but I personally think that there's potential that it would be good. But by the time that the breeders will have the Kakaro down to Soros, to enough HP and melee to compete with Gigas, I feel like Ark is going to be dead by then. So this is probably a pretty decent tame for like fresh wiped unofficial servers or apocalypse. But I don't think a lot of people would use it on the official servers just because the fact that Gigas are already a capped line and these are far behind. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was definitely a little bit different to what I usually upload. By the way, everything shown in this video was recorded on official small tribes, so it shouldn't be too hard for you to copy my steps and tame one for yourself. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. And now have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.